Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today still a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki manager 7 with my Tampa Bay Lightning historical challenge all right so it is February so as usual I have submitted my contract extensions uh, pretty typical stuff here, so I'm keeping Anzus, Abby Bullen, Rob Blake, Tepo Numenen, Brian Rafalski, Bill Guerin, and uh, Mikael Samuelson. Uh, pretty much the only notable name that I'm letting walk is going to be Alexander McGilney. Uh, he's a two-star player now, and he's not having a good season. He's playing mostly on the fourth line, so yeah it's time to part ways with alexander mcgillney he's had some decent seasons for us but now nah, now is not that time anymore <clears throat> the trading uh, the trading block is uh, pretty barren i jumped on the most interesting piece really early in the season so that's good for us and we have Steve Ruchin that is hurt day to day, so he should come back soon, uh, which sucks for our friend um, Sergei Varlamov, whom I recalled to take his spot, and then he got hurt. <laughs> and now Ruchin's about to come back, so <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so in the standings, we're second in the East. Now, if you look at the standings, uh, if you're not you know necessarily super versed in Aki and Aki history uh, you might wonder why you know we have 68 points and, and we are second and the Rangers have 70 points and they are fourth that's because back in 1999 2000 uh, the top three teams the one from each division would seed one two three and then after that from it was you know whoever was left with the most points so the rangers have more points than us but they play in the same division as the pittsburgh penguins so they seed fourth at that point so it looks like we're doing okay we have a 10 point lead on the hurricanes with three games on on it's not a done deal as we saw last season things can go awry really quickly so hopefully that's not going to be the case this season so with that being said i'm ready to start here i don't know about you but i have a, it smells like a lot of victories in february at least for me hopefully uh, looks like we have a lot of home games as well so hopefully we can capitalize on that so it starts today uh, with a matchup at home against the toronto maple leafs the leafs are 18 20, 28 and 6 that's good for 13th in the east and we are 1-0 against the Leafs this season. <clears throat> Alright, so the Leafs are going to go with Grant Fior in net. He has two fires to his name. We are going to go with Johan Edberg. He has three fires to his name. And of course, go Lightning Go! And we start the month with a victory. A 6-2 win here against the Leafs. We outshot the Leafs 54 to 22. Martin Strecker was the first star of the game. He had four assists. Brian Rafalski was the second star with two assists. And Mikael Nylander was the third star with a goal and an assist. We had 14,902 people in attendance for this game. So the Leafs scored eight seconds into the game and it was already one nothing toronto but then we scored twice sergey gonchar scored on the power play from martin Strecka, then mikhail nylander from marcus naslin and tepo numinen it was two to one tampa bay at that point 14 seconds later however uh, toronto scored to tie the game at two so it was tied at two after two then we scored twice in the second period. Ryan Smith scored his 15th on the power play from Brian Rafalski and Martin Strecka. Then Sergei Gonchar scored on the power play as well from Martin Strecka and Bill Guerin. It was 4-2 Tampa Bay after two. And in the third period, Boris Mironov scored short-handed from Keith Ketchuk and Martin Strecka. And then Alexander Mogilny scored from Mikhail Nylander and Brian Rafalski. It was 6-2 Tampa Bay and that's how the game ended with a nice victory to start. <clears throat> a 
All right, so as we saw, uh, Martin Strecker had a really good game. He had four assists in one game. William Davidson is satisfied with my work. We went 10 and four last month. All right, uh, Rob Blake signed his extension. Garen, Abibulin, and Zeus Numenon, Rafalski, and Mikael Samuelson. There you go. So that leaves those guys that I'm not bringing back. Uh, Gusev, Guren, Buzek, Kadlech, Yarko Rutu, Vili Niminen, Todd Elik, Alexander Magilny, and Igor Fedulov. So I'm not bringing any of those guys back. <clears throat> All right, we have a day off, and then we are hosting the Habs. Oh, that's going to be our first meeting with Montreal this season. Alexi Yashin has a strong game. Now, remember, Yashin plays in Dallas in my universe now. He had a hat-trick against the Trashers. All right, so Montreal is in town. They are 20, 23, and 7. Now, remember, their coach was in trouble uh, in the last video, I believe. Maybe the video before that. I think it was the last video. Uh, they are not having a very good season. Uh, they are 11th in the East with that record. Now, it's our first time playing them, so we'll take a look at their lineup. Well, Montreal is relatively healthy. However, Eric Daze is hurt. He's not going to play this game. So in net, it's Bruce Racine and Patrick Roy. Now, Patrick Roy is still a five-star goaltender. Uh, on D, they have Eric Messi, Peter Popovich, Matthew Schneider, Jay Mickey, Patrice Brisebois, Eric Desjardins, Sean Hill, and Craig Rivet. Benoit Brunet, John Leclerc, Steve McKenna, Brian Savage, Vincent Anfus, Benoit Hug, John Madden, Pascal Rion, Danton Cole, Eric Darcy, Mike King, Kevin Stevens, and Jeff O'Neill up front. It's not a bad team. I'm not sure why they're not doing better. All right, so Montreal's going to send Bruce Resson in net against us. We're going to go back to Johan Edberg. And it's another 6-2 victory. There you go. Uh, we outshot Montreal 38-25 to in that game. Rob Blake was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Vyacheslav Kozlov was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Sergei Gonchar was the third star with an assist. 13,930 people in attendance for this game. So unlike the game against Toronto, we are the ones who... Uh, st uh, struck first Bill Guerin uh, opened up the scoring that was his 10th of the season on the power play from Matt Sundin and Ryan Smith then Vyacheslav Kozlov from Rob Blake and Michael Anzus Vili Peltonen from Rob Blake and Sergei Gonchar and then Peltonen again from Michael Anzus it was 4 nothing Tampa Bay after 1 nobody scored in the second then Montreal came to within two in the third period. It was 4-2, but then we scored two more goals. Rob Blake scored his 15th from Martin Straka, and then Scott Young from Vyacheslav Kozlov and Martin Straka. It was a 6-2 victory for the Lightning, of course. And now it would appear that Ryan Smith is hurt. That sucks. Right, three weeks, that's not the the end of the world, but still. All right, so a sprain, a knee sprain is out for three weeks. Uh, Aaron McKenzie in Atlanta is suspended. He's going to miss four games. They looked at Nicholas Falk in Nashville. He's not suspended. And Steve Ruchin is feeling better a little all right so ryan smith the captain goes to the injured reserve and we need to get somebody up Oof, it is slim pickings actually i think i i'm just going to get mikhail samuelson up Give him some maybe time in the NHL. Maybe he's going to develop a little bit more. 
Right, so now we have a four day break before we host the sharks. Steve Ruchin is starting to feel better. Oh, there's some uh, <clears throat> waivers here. Uh, Patrick Awold, Joe Ricky. We're familiar with that guy. Uh, Alexei Schupin and Steve Dobinsky. Right, and Steve Ruchin is about to come back. I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone for just one second. I'm going to let my cat out of this room. All right, sorry about that. She she can be a little uh, opinionated. All right, so San Jose is in town. They are 34, 20, and two. And we are one and zero against the Sharks this season. We did beat them 4-1 in San Jose. I believe that was last month. All right, so Arthur's Ear Bay is gonna be a net for San Jose. We're gonna go to Johan Edberg. So Edberg really got the starting job this year. And it's another victory. 3 to 2 win here against the Sharks. We outshot San Jose 30 to 27 in that one, so it was a lot closer here than the other games. Francis Bouillon was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Pavel Datuk was the second star with a goal, and Keith Kitchuk was the third star with a goal as well. 13,545 people in, in attendance for this game. Keith Ketchuk scored the first goal of the game in the first period from Francis Bouillon and Matt Sundin. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay after 1. Then Tepu Numenen scored in the second from Francis Bouillon and Vyacheslav Kozlov. It was 2-0 after 2. Then the Sharks tied the game <coughs> at 2. But then with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the game, Michael Lanzos scored the game winner from Marcus Naslon. 3-2 victory for the Lightning. So the Sharks were played us pretty tough, but we managed to uh, get the lead back and win. So Sergei Gonchar has a day-to-day -day injury, but I don't think it's very serious. All right. Oh, he has dehydration. J just drink a Gatorade or something. By the way, I am not sponsored by Gatorade. I just said that. Steve Ruchin is ready to come back. That's good. Oh, uh, Pavel Bure signed a contract extension with the Kings for six more years of Pavel Bure in LA. Wow. 15 million and uh, 15.42 million over six years total. Ron Francis also extended with Pittsburgh, but for just one more year. He is still a five star player at 36. Then there's been a trade between Nashville and Dallas. <clears throat> Dimitri Yerofayev. And a seventh round draft pick go to Dallas for Trent Klatt and Ryan Beda. Yeah, I think that Nashville got the upper hand in that one. Dallas got uh, got fleeced a little. All right, so we want to get Steve Richard back. I think I'm gonna get Varlamov back down. Poor guy. Great night for Pavel Bure. Celebrated his contract extension with three goals and an assist against the Phoenix Coyotes. And I forgot to say it earlier, but uh, Bure is 28 and he is a four and a half star player. All right. So now we are going to be 
in Uniondale to play against the Islanders. Islanders are 25, 25, and 3. That's good for 7th in the East. We are 2 and 1 against the Isles. Johan Edberg is in net for us. Glenn Ely in net for the Islanders. And we lost that one 5 2. So away from home, we didn't do as good. <clears throat> so we outshot the Islanders 36 to 30. Nat Domenicelli was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Vladimir Malakov was the second star with two goals and an assist. And Aaron Gailey, oh, look at that, was the third star with a goal and an assist. <clears throat> All right, so the Islanders took a 2-0 lead into the first, and then we tied the game. Rob Blake scored on the power play from Matt Sundin and Vyacheslav Kozlov, and then Rob Blake again from Sergei Gonchar. It was tied at 2 after 1. But then the Islanders scored two more goals into the second period. They were up 4-2. Then they added one more in the third. It was 5-2, and we never were quite in this game, at least goal-wise. Well, I guess we tied the game, but yeah. Chris Rogals is on the waivers. Ryan Smith is already starting to feel better. We're going to see him in a couple weeks. Oh, John Tortorella is already about to get fired by the Trashers. Trashers are 16, 31, and 7. That's not very good. And it looks like they don't have a whole lot of patience over there because the Trashers are new from this year. Memorable night for Ron Francis, who also celebrated his contract extension with three goals and an assist as well against the Orders. I signed a whole bunch of players. Where, where were the, those three goals and one assist games for my players after that I extended them? Alright, Gonshar is about to come back. And now we're back home after we went on the road to lose games. So hopefully we can win this one. We're going to be hosting the Hurricanes who are 30-23-2. and two. They are 5th in the East. We are 3-0 and against Carolina this season. Didn't we win every game 4-2? I think so. We're about to find out, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we won every single game 4-2. Ryan Miller is going to be a net for the Hurricanes. We're going to go to Johan Edberg. Well, we won that one 5-1 instead of 4-2, so sorry to disappoint and break the combo we had going there. We outshot the Hurricanes 48-12. to Michael Lanzos was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Vili Peltanen was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Alexander McGilney was the third star with two assists. 14,483 people in attendance for the game. Marcus Neslin opened up the scoring in the first from Steve Richin and Vili Peltanen. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay after 1. In the second, we had Vyacheslav Kozlov's score is 20th on the power play from Alexander Mogilny and Bill Guerin. 2 nothing Tampa Bay after 2. There was a fight as well between Bill Guerin and Shane Doan. <clears throat> then in the third, Keith Kitschak scored from Matt Sundin and Michael Lanzos. Then Bill Guerin on the power play from Vyacheslav Kozlov and Alexander Mogilny. It was 4 nothing Tampa Bay at that point. Carolina scored, and then Vidi Peltanen scored his 10th from Michael Anzus. It was 5-1, and of course, that was our final score today. A 5-1 victory over the Hurricanes. Boris Mironov is feeling a little bit better on the left side, even though he's a right shot. German Titov is back from suspension in Toronto. Back in the lineup over there. Sergey Gonchar is completely recovered, and there's been a trade between Dallas and Phoenix. Did Dallas get fleeced again? 
So Yua Lind goes to Phoenix for Addix X. Yeah, that's that's not a big trade. Actually, Addix X is probably a tiny bit better than Yua Lind. <clears throat> Very minor trade. A right, couple days off, and then we're gonna be hosting the New York Rangers. Uh, Richard Kepus with Buffalo is suspended. He's going to miss one game. Derek Morris is back from suspension in LA. Mario Lemieux is hurt. He is day to day. And Al McKinnis signed an extension with the Flames for three more years. So he's going to make 2.02 million per season. Al McInnes is 36 and he is still a five star player. All right, Rangers are in town. They are 34, 17, and 6. They are fourth in the East and we are 0 and 2 against the Rangers this season. We have not faced off against them very well. Mike Richter is going to be in net for the Rangers. He has a snowflake under his name. We're going to Johan Edberg, who still has his three fires. And we lost again to the Blue Shirts. We cannot beat them. We lost 4-3 this time. They even outshot us 29-28. to Tony Amante was the first star of the game, he had two goals. Rob Blake was the second star with two assists, and Brett Edekin was the third star with an assist. 15,367 people in attendance for this game. Sergei Gonchar opened up the scoring nine seconds into the first period from Keith Kitschuk and Matt Sundin. Then the Rangers tied the game, but we took the lead back. Uh, Vyacheslav Kozlov scored from Rob Blake and Martin Straka. It was 2-1 Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second, Steve Ruchin scored from Rob Blake, made it 3-1 Tampa Bay, but the Rangers uh, came back to within one before the end of the period. It was 3-2 Tampa Bay after two. <clears throat> we even had a fight between Keith Kitschuk and Adam Graves. And then in the third period, we allowed two goals with Brian Leach scoring the game winner, and we lost this game 4-3. Peter Shaslevy improves at left wing. Good for him. Now we have a couple days off before we go and play in Ottawa against the Suns. Dave Manson is back from suspension in Edmonton, back in the lineup over there. Brendan Shannon has racked up 500 assists in his career, got a goal and an assist against Atlanta. Brendan Shannon is 31 and he is still a four-star player. And Aaron McKenzie is back from suspension in Atlanta after that game. Dwayne Sutter's job is in jeopardy, so they are also talking about canning the general manager over there in Atlanta with that 16, 34, and 7 record. Wow, they're not patient over there. A good night for Vincent Alfus. He had three goals and an assist against Atlanta. And suspension is over for Richard Capus. Capuch. Capuch. Not sure how to pronounce that, but he's back in the lineup in Buffalo. And now we're going to go and play in Ottawa against the Suns. Now the Suns are 30, 21, and 5. That's good for third in the East. So they are first in their division. So they are also doing all right. We have not played them this season. So let's see what they are all about. So they do have one injury. It's Patrick Travers. He's not going to play. Uh, Mika Kiprusov and Patrick Deroche in net. Uh, then Chris Pronger, Andre Markov, Hans Janssen, Patrick Travers, Sean Brown, Tony Ludman, and Brent Sopel on D. All right. Uh, Pavel Dimitra, Jamie Langenbrunner, Andre Mikulishin, Gerard Scaldi, Sylvain Surgeon, Chris Gratton, Robert Lang, Jan Erdina, Eric Rasmussen, Jody Al, Trent McCleary, Alex Sullivanov. Not sure who that cult guy is, and then Shane Willis. 
Uh, there's that's an interesting team. All right, so Johan Edberg is going to be a net for us, and he's going to face Patrick Desrochers. They both have three fires under their name. And we lost 3 to 2, so we're uh, losing a few games lately. We did outshoot at our 39 to 21. Uh, Robert Lang was the first out of the game, he had three assists. Bill Guerin was the second star with a goal, and Patrick Desrochers was the third star with 37 saves. All right, so Alexander Mogilny opened up the scoring in the first period from Mikael Nylander. It was 1-0 Tampa Bay after one. There was a fight between Chris Gratton and Keith Kitschuk. Then in the second period, Ottawa tied the game, and then we took the lead back. Bill Guerin scored from Matt Sundin and Keith Kitschuk. It was 2-1 Tampa Bay, so for the second game in a row, we went into the third period with a lead, and then we just gave the game up. And Chris Pranger scored twice, including the game winner, of course, and we lost 3 2. So, problems uh, protecting leads in the third period, apparently. Uh, red light stays, stays on for Brett Hall. He had a hat trick for, against Nashville. Uh, Stefan Robida with the Rangers is suspended. He's going to miss five games. And Owen Nolan extends his point streak to 12 games. He had a goal and an assist against the Rangers in that same game. All right, we are now playing um, in Carolina against the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are now 31, 25, and 3. They are fifth in the East, so we are now a whopping 4 and 0 against the Hurricanes this season. Now we need a win here. Need to turn things around a little. Uh, Johan Enberg in net for us, still two fires. Ryan Miller in net for the Hurricanes. He has five fires. And we lost 4 3. Dang. A little bit of a losing streak here. We outshot Carolina 42 to 30. Zardy Zalapski was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Vili Peltanen was the second star with two assists. And Daniel Zubros was the third star with a goal and an assist. So Carolina took the lead in the first. It was a one nothing lead for them. Then in the second period, Steve Ruchin tied the game with his 10th of the season from Marcus Nesson and Vili Peltanen. Tied at one after at that point. And then Carolina scored twice. It was 3-1 Carolina after two. Then Carolina made it 4-1. Then Matt Sundin scored from Sergei Gonchar, and then Sergei Gonchar from Steve Ruchin and Vili Peltanen. It was 4-3 with uh, 4.28 left to go in the third period. We just couldn't get that tying goal. All right, that's not good. We're, we're slipping away. All right, so we have one day off, and then we're going to be hosting Pittsburgh. Uh, Owen Nolan's point streak ended at 12 games. He was held scoreless against the Stars. And Kip Miller is not suspended in Atlanta. All right, Pittsburgh is 39, 14, and 5. That's good for first in the East. We are 2 0 and 1 against Pittsburgh this season, so we actually did pretty good against them. Mike Rossetti is going to be a net for Pittsburgh. He has five fires under his name. We're going to go to Nikolai Abibulin. He has a snowflake. All right, that one is not on Abibulin. We lost, but we lost one nothing. So can't really blame your goaltender for that. Uh, he did pretty good. We did outshoot Pittsburgh 40 to 30. But, uh, yeah, we got out goalied by Rossetti, who was the first star of the game with his 40 saves. And the shutout, Matt Sundin was the second star with no points. And Larry Murphy was the third star with an assist. 15,679 people in attendance for the game. And that's, what, four straight losses now? We need to take turns around.
Patrick Roy extended with Montreal uh, for two years at 2.91 per season. Uh, Cardis Crashtons has been suspended in Vancouver. He's going to miss three games. And Ryan Smith is ready to come back soon. Just not yet. All right, we have three games left. I would like to win two of those remaining three so that this month is not a complete disaster. Well, it's not exactly a disaster. We won quite a bit at the start of the month, but... We're a little bit on a skid right now. So Ottawa is in town. They are 32, 22, and 5. Now they are still third in the east. We are 0 and 1 against Ottawa. Of course, we just lost 3 2 in Ottawa not too long ago. So the Sens are going to go with Mika Kiprusov in net. We're going to go back to Johan Edberg. Ouch. We lost again 3 to 1. What is it with my end of seasons that are struggling so bad? <clears throat> we outshot Ottawa 35 to 34. Andre Markov was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Bill Guerin was the second star with an assist. And Jody Hall was the third star with a goal. 14,629 people believed that Tampa Bay would turn things around, but they didn't. All right, so Ottawa scored first in the first period. It was one nothing. Sands after one. There was a fight between Bill Guerin and Chris Pronger. Then in the second period, Ottawa scored again, made it two nothing, and then Keith Ketchuk scored from Bill Guerin and Matt Sundin. It was two to one Ottawa. Then they added a goal in the third period, and we lost three to one. That's not good. That is not good. John Leclerc got to 600 points in his career with two goals against New Jersey. John Leclerc is 30 and he is a four-star player. Ryan Smith is about to come back. I, I kind of need him back. All right. We are... In Nashville to face up against the Preds. They are 22, 31, and 8. And we are 1 0 against Nashville this season. Yeah, we really need a win here. Johan Edberg in net for us. Sean Burke in net for Nashville. And we lost 5 3. Oh boy, I, I've lost count of how many losses in a row it is. I think that's 6 or 7. <sighs> All right, we were outshot 34 to 28 in that game. Jonas Oglund was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Scott Young was the second star with a goal. And Maxim Sushinsky was the third star with two goals. Uh, Boris Mironov scored the first goal of the game in the first from Keith Ketchuk and Matt Sandin. Then uh, Nashville took a 2-1 lead with two... Uh, Two quick goals. Then Sergei Gonchar scored his 10th on the power play from Bill Guerin and Matt Sundin. It was tied at 2 after 1. Then in the second period, Nashville scored again. It was 3-2, Nashville after 2. Then they added another goal in the third, made it 4-2. We came back to within 1 with Scott Young scoring from Martin Strecker. It was 4-3, but then they added another goal. And we lost 5-3. Ray Ferraro has reached 900 points in that game against us. He had two assists. So Ray Ferraro is 35 years old and he is a three-star player. Tipo Numinen is getting better at left defense, even though he's a right shot. Right, and then we have one more game and it's in Detroit, so it's not going to be easy. We know that already. A memorable game for Craig Johnson in Florida. He had a hat-trick against the Hurricanes. Chris Pronger is suspended in Ottawa. He's going to miss seven games. Ron Francis got a thousand assists in his career with two assists against Boston. Ron Francis is 36, so the five-star player. Yaramir Jagger has a good game. He had three goals and an assist against the Bruins in that same game. 
And big game for Milan Eduk playing for San Jose. He had four goals against the Kings. Ryan Smith is about to come back. Yeah, we have missed him dearly. All right, so Detroit is 35, 24, and 4. We are 1 0 against Detroit. We did beat them at home 4 2, but now it's going to be on the road. Nikolai Abibulin in net for us with a snowflake. Byron Duffo with four fires in net for Detroit. And we lost 2 to 1. So we ended the month with what? eight straight losses seven straight losses that's terrible that's terrible my team is too good for that shit anyway detroit uh, outshot us 40 to 29 jim dowd was the first star of the game he had an assist nikolai abibulin was the second star with 38 saves and peter shaslevy was the third star with a goal did I say that we outshot Detroit? Detroit outshot us 40 to 29. I think I might have said that on reverse. Maybe not. So Detroit opened up the scoring in the first period. Then Peter Shaslevy scored his first NHL goal from Brian Rafalski and Michael Lanzos. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second, the, the Detroit scored, made it two to one, and that was the game winner. We lost two to one, and we lost all credibility. And respect because we lost like eight straight games. Ravil Gusmanov is on waivers. John Leclerc scored his 300 goal in his career with a goal against the Devil. Wow, that's a couple milestones that he's achieved against New Jersey. So he is still 30 and still a four star player. Nathan Lafayette is suspended in St. Louis. He's going to miss seven games. And Ryan Smith is finally back. Oh, apparently Mikael Samuelson is hurt. Well, no, I'm just going to send him to the minors. Welcome back, the captain. We were without a leader, without you, obviously, because we couldn't win a hockey game to save our lives. All right, so despite all of that, oh, wait, we are February 28th. I need to. Oh, it's a leap year. Okay. There we go. Right, so Kardish Scratchtons is back from suspension in Vancouver. And the players of the month were Joe Sakic and Dominic Ashek. Two players that I have absolutely no problem believing that he could win that award. So we're good there. Alright, so we are barely hanging on to our second place. We're actually tied in points with Ottawa, but we have two games on him. So Ottawa took advantage of our skid, right? And they've won some games, including two against us, which helped them close the gap. So yeah, uh, now the other team that is of importance to us is the Carolina Hurricanes because they are in our division. We have 69 points. So we still have a little bit of a cushion there and two games on on, but we're gonna need to turn things around here. So, yeah. Alright, so that's what it looks like in the east. In the west, Colorado is first. Uh, San Jose, Detroit, Dallas, Vancouver, St. Louis, Calgary, and LA. The worst team in the league is still the Washington Capitals, of course. All right, let's take a look at our stats. I think Matt Sundin is, uh, he didn't have like the best month here. So his point per game pace is probably, yeah, it's, uh, he's still a point per game, but it's, you know, slowing down a little bit. He has 67 points in 61 games. Kozlov and Straka have both 47 points in 61 games. Rob Blake, 44 in 57. Kachuk, 43 in 61. 
and it goes down from there. Right. And in the entire league, the best goal scorer is Pavel Bure with 40 goals. Uh, the best passer is Joe Sakic with 68 assists. That's pretty good. And then um, Joe Sakic is the best scorer in the league. He has 93 points. That's uh, four more than Yarmir Jagr. Matt Sundin is somewhere around 12th with 67 points. So yeah, he has slowed down a little bit. I can look at the goalie leaders, but I know that our goaltenders are not there. Our goaltenders have not been good. Yeah, Kiprusov, even if he's not fully developed, he's only a two-star player and he's like lights out better than you know a lot of other goaltenders. All right. That is pretty much it, folks. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. All right, so next time out, it's going to be March. It looks like it's going to be a pretty long month, so that's going to be a lot of games to go through. Uh, probably a very determining month as well about where we're going to end up in the standings. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop here for today. You know the drill. So as usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in. And if you've liked the video and you would like to help support me and my channel, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.